Hello, Teradata SQL students, and welcome to SQL as a Second Language. This TechCast is helping you to get started in using the Teradata SQL tool called SQL Assistant. We're going to be covering a few topics today. One is how to uh, set up some alternating colors to give the answer set kind of a green bar or yellow bar look. How to attach to the training database, which is the real estate system or RES res database and then how to go about doing a little data discovery in the real estate database to look at the table structures and the data that's inside. Let's get started by opening up a copy of Teradata's SQL Assistant. Here is a copy of the Teradata SQL Assistant and we're currently not connected to anything. Initially when you open up the Teradata SQL Assistant you're not. We're going to click on the little connect icon, the little plug here, to connect to a Teradata database. Now we've created a data source previously called the My Teradata data source. If you do not see this, when you click on Machine Data Source and scroll down the list, there is another tech cast on how to create this data source name. We're going to click on the My Teradata, then click on the OK button. As you can see, there are two databases here, the DBC one, which is the master database for Teradata, and my user database that's listed here. Also at the top, you can see where it says the user database is this database name, and the database I'm connected to is the exact same name as the user's name. When that happens, that means you're working in your own personal database area, which is a good thing to do. But you'll also notice that the RES database, or the real estate database, is not listed here. To attach to that database, we'll click on one of the databases listed in the database tree, right click, and you will see the Add Database Selection. We will click on the Add Database Selection, a dialog box opens up, and we will type in the name of our database, which is RES, and then click on the OK key. And when we do that, you'll notice that the RES database is shown, which is the training database for this course. The next item we would like to do is to doing a little data discovery into the RES database area. If you notice this plus icon next to the database, when you click on it, it opens up and shows a number of folders. These are the objects inside of the real estate system database, and we're particularly interested in the tables. So by double clicking on the folder next to tables, we get a list of all of the tables that are inside of the RES database. I'm going to click on the property table, and by clicking on the plus sign next to that, It'll open up and give us an option of looking at indexes or columns, and by double-clicking on the Columns folder, we'll be able to see all the columns that are inside of the property table inside of the RES database. You'll also notice that there's a data type next to each one of the column names to indicate what type of data is contained inside of that column. The next item we would like to do is take a look at the data inside of the property table. So we'll click on the property, table itself and then using the right mouse button there's some options. What we would like to do is click on the browse option. Now the browse option actually produces a SQL statement for you but doesn't run the statement. It will not run the statement until you click on the run icon which are these two little green feet up here and when you click on those it runs the query and brings back the answers. Now notice the answers are fairly plain. What we want to do is format this so that we can see these answers kind of like in a yellow bar. And the way we do that is by clicking on the tools, move down to options, and notice it says display alternative answer rows in color. We're going to check on that and we are going to choose a color. You could choose green. I'm going to, I prefer yellow, so I'm going to click on yellow and then click on the OK button to the color dialog in the OK button here. Now you'll notice that your results haven't changed automatically. For them to change you'll have to run the query again. So we'll go back up to the little feet, click on Execute again, and notice how much easier the results appear here. The last item we want to talk about is adding the history panel to this. The top panel is the query that's been run, the bottom panel is the answer set. We want to add the history panel to this, which shows all of the queries that have been executed by you. I'm going to click on the view, 
and then move down to show history. When I can show history, you now see the history panel on the bottom, the answer set in the middle, and the query tab in the middle. And this concludes our tech cast of getting started with the TQL, Teradata SQL Assistant. Thank you very much.